Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I would, wanted to jump on here and I actually was going to, I just told Jim, all right, hi, good morning. Let me take a sip of coffee because it's been a long time. Look, Jim, get, let me borrow his cup. Mmm. 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 It's like four hours old and it's still warm. Good job, Ray Dunn. Um, I really wanted to come on here I was this close to saying, Jim, pull out the camera so I could show the doctor and I could show the people. You know, I like to share all the experiences I go through with you guys in case somebody goes through it. I mentioned this before. When I first found out I had kidney cancer, there wasn't a lot of social media influencers who were sharing their journey. I didn't know what to expect other than what my doctors were telling me to expect. But you know, what it is with doctors is they only give the information that they get from their patients and they don't give it all and they don't know what's relevant, and they don't know what will repeat on you. And they don't want to tell you about side effects of things because then sometimes you subconsciously um, manifest them. So I think I mentioned this when it happened before my sister Julie was here. As I woke up the day after my second immunotherapy appointment, and I felt totally paralyzed. Like I felt like I had no strength, zero strength, like zero. It took me like five minutes to move my arm from the pillow, like basically to get my forearm to move. So this morning I tried to move all the parts and nothing was moving except I got my forearm to move. And I had the digital assistant called Jim because he was not in the room. First I found out what time it was to make sure that he would be done with his work. Um, and it was 11 o'clock. So I'm sure he was done with his work at 11 o'clock. And then I had the digital assistant uh, call him on the phone and we talked and I asked him, I said, you know, can you come in please? It's kind of an emergency. And he checked my blood sugar and my blood sugar was good. And he checked my blood pressure and my blood pressure was good. My blood pressure was a tiny bit higher than I expected it to be, but he was having a lot of trouble doing my blood sugar. So I think that the, the constant poking and stuff might've actually made it elevated a little bit. But then he helped me move my body parts. Um, if you do feel the sensation, so I almost wanted him to film it so you guys could see what happened. I was sleeping on my stomach. Actually, this time I was, the first time I was sleeping on my stomach, this time I was sleeping on my side. Was I sleeping on my side or my back? I don't even remember. But literally it feels like, it feels like you're, you're not in your body. And it feels like you don't have any control over your muscles. And it is known to happen. Um, let's just put it that way. Um, it is known to happen. Um, so I'm saying this because if you're coming to this video because of kidney cancer and you found the hashtag renal cell carcinoma, I encourage you to go back to the beginning of my journey. Um, start with the video that says I have cancer. And then I vlogged the surgery, the rehab and all that stuff also. So, um, but if you're, you know, a regular, hi, good morning. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for coming back to the insanity. Normally I shut off all my noisemakers because they can really be irritating to a lot of people, but I got this new mini refrigerator and I can't shut it off. I mean, I can shut it off, but it's got stuff in it that'll go bad if I shut it off, but it has a fan that runs constantly. It's not too loud, but I think it might maybe still you might hear it so i apologize um today jim and i are gonna work on finishing the room because it's new year's eve so happy new year to everybody um what i mean by finish our room is we're gonna work on possibly um uh just finally putting up the winter cl summer clothes and taking down the winter clothes getting rid of some stuff we were just like waiting to get rid of um putting up the lights and the cards, just touch up the area a little bit. Um, and then like, you know, do the make the bed thing. I, I mentioned this previously that my grandmother had a super, my father told me my, his mother was superstitious and she had a superstition that how your house is on New Year's Eve is how it will reflect the whole year. So of course we want it to be clean as possible, food, um, everything working, everything, you know, pretty and that kind of thing. So that, that feel um, will be what's happening in 2022. 
I am two weeks and two days back on chemotherapy. I am second immunotherapy infusion was yesterday and my first radiation was yesterday. I have a whole big mark um, where they did it and they said after today I can wash it off. So I'll be doing that. But I also got some of my marks touched up um, like this one, for example, this mark got touched up because I actually had the sticker in the middle. Oh, you can't really see it. So this was a line with a sticker in the middle and the sticker came off, the line from the middle came off. So he touched up that line yesterday. Uh, the good news is it looks like Wednesday will be my last on this shoulder. They did this shoulder yesterday. Do I feel any improvement? Honestly, it's hard to tell because it didn't always hurt. Like this one kind of always is sore, but this one didn't always hurt. Um, it hurt frequently and it didn't hurt doesn't hurt now so um that might be a good sign so that's why I'm, I'm happy um i'm gonna find out if they're gonna do anything to my spine on wednesday um i'll see dr dr s um dr sp because yesterday i said dr sw um and um he'll look because he's my actual interventional radiologist he's been on vacation for two weeks so he'll look at my films and decide if they're going to do anything to my spine tumor that's what um dr ali recommended having the radiologist oncologist to look to see if they want to do any there um so hopefully this doesn't have to be this whole six to eight months if they can shrink that tumor with radiation so yeah <laughs> I guess for the for 2022, I'm going to be in a brace because that's where I'm going to be on New Year's Eve. Today, we're just going to do cocktails. For Jimmy's going to we're going to cook up some chicken tenders. I wanted to I actually want to do is I want to make like almost like grilled chicken bites, but like I want to saute them. Like and I got an electric griddle. No, I got an electric skillet. Oh, that was like a fuzzy on my nose as I started to breathe it in. It was moving around like I'm a cat. Um, I got an electric skillet so I could sit at the table and cook. And I thought I would just like, uh, like, so almost like stir fry, but with no sauce. Just to have like some sauteed vegetables, some sauteed chicken pieces, no coating on them. I just want to be able to have some stuff that I can eat and pick on when I don't know what I want. And I don't want to have to have him cook. So they do sell frozen grilled chicken and I have used it in the past. It's just so full of sodium and so salty tasting to me now. Um, wasn't always, but it is now. So we have chicken we have to cut up and we have to put away and we have chicken that I would like to cook some today. And then we're going to put like the meatballs with the, uh, I don't know if I was going to do like the meat, meatball cocktail, which is like you take frozen meatballs, grape jelly and barbecue sauce and you put them in a crock pot. But Jim mentioned that we have the lingonberry jelly that we got from ikea with these swedish meatballs so maybe we'll just make them like bake them in the oven and then dip them in or fry them in the pan like there's different ways to make them maybe we'll just do that um instead and i wanted to do chicken wings um i basically wanted to just have like appetizers jimmy got a frozen sushi from aldi we're gonna try for the first time i don't i said we but i don't eat sushi um, it looked really good. They said they make it fresh, frozen, so they freeze it when it's fresh. All these really good with their quality, so I assumed it was really good. So he's going to try it for the first time. He likes sushi, but it's one of those things. It's like getting there when the guy is there. Um, it's not that it's more money. You can customize it, obviously, but it's not always open. And when he's in the mood for sushi in the middle of the night, you're like, what do you do? So I thought this might be a good alternative. Um, what else? There is something else. Oh, queso. So I have, um, I actually bought a, I'm not going to make like the homemade queso. I have a jar of queso dip from Aldi, which is like mild cheese, or it might be Tostitos. I don't really know. I think it might be from Trader Joe's. I don't know. But anyway, I'm just going to brown some breakfast sausage meat and put it in the queso just to make like a meaty queso. And I found cauliflower tortilla chips. They're grain free. I don't know if they're uh, low carb. I haven't looked at the package, um, but they look 
so I'm so excited that I can actually have like tortilla, like chips and salsa. Oh, because I was talking to my sister Alicia and I love the Quest chips, but they only come in flavors. And I don't know, I'm not necessarily like take a ranch chip and dip it in the salsa or take the taco chips. I mean, the taco chips are good for like when I put them on a taco salad. But it's like, you know, I want to taste the salsa too. I want the vehicle getting the salsa to my mouth. But anyway, so let me take a quick sip of coffee because my brain. Um, so eventually I became unparalyzed, as you can tell, because I'm sitting here. But if it does happen to you, what Jimmy did was I was, I called him in. He ran my numbers. He did my blood sugar, did my blood pressure. And eventually he helped me move my muscles. So I was like, can you straighten my leg out? And he straightened my leg out. And I was like, can you pull my arm down? And he pulled my arm down. And he pulled it kind of hard. And I was like, ooh, ah. There was this one. And I was like, ah. And he's like, I'm sorry. I'm like, no, no, it's okay. It's just that it was stiff. I couldn't control how fast it was going to go. Like, you know, when you're stiff and you're like, oh, that hurts. So you go slow. When someone else is doing it for you, you don't really have control over that. <laughs> so, um... Then he helped me sit up and helped me get dressed. And well, he didn't, he helped me get in this chair. Cause I need, when I sit in this chair with him, I need his help because what I've learned to do is to put the back brace in, like put it on, sit in it, take it off, fix it. Then do the whole thing where he helps me get it in it. And then I sit here and I can sit here for quite a while, a couple of hours before my knees start to bother me. Um, then I take my feet on and off the ottoman in case my knees are bothering me. Um, today it's gorgeous. It's like 61 degrees it's going to be today on New Year's Eve. Tomorrow it's going to be 29. So I wanted to go out in the living room and enjoy the sunshine. So we're just going to do have a little brunch because it's 12 o'clock now and we're just having breakfast. Um, he was vlogging all day and he forgot to eat. Um, I worry about him when he does that, but I, you know... I trust him. I trust that he'll do what he needs to do the right way. Um, so we're going to have some brunch and then we're going to work in here and then hopefully go out to the living room and work in the living room and the kitchen. Um, he said the kitchen floor has to be swept and mopped just so it's like New Year's Eve clean and uh, possibly the same with the living room floor. So we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, it's, it's, a very good New Year's Eve. What I'm going to do that I haven't done since June, apparently, because that's when I really like hurt myself in July, is um, change my perpetual calendar. My perpetual calendar says June. Um, I'm going to change it for January 1st, and I'm going to put January 3rd as a birthday. Cause that's my Abby's birthday. And, um, got a few birthdays in January. Some people have already left us. Some people who are still here, so. But Abby's my, my niece slash goddaughter. My fairy goddaughter. Um, she's the tie-dye making girl. All right, what else? Can't think of what I'm trying to say. I got, I put Hedwig up here. Oh, and my little tiny perfume bottles. I thought they looked really cute there. Can you guys see that? They're so old. Like, no joke. They're, I collected these little things. I had a dollhouse. And I collected all these little things. And then people would give me little things. The one thing that I have to find and put up is... Because I got the clips for it. Is um, Mary Fry sent me a present when I first was diagnosed. And Jimmy thinks he put it in the office. Which makes me upset. Because I asked him to leave it on my dresser. But he thinks he put it in the craft room. So he has to find that. So I can hang those up. I want to hang those here. Here. You guys can see it this way. I want to hang those here. And then I have twinkle lights that come with clear clothespins. That I want to hang everybody's cards up. So we just figured out a little way to do that. I don't think you'd be able to see that in everyday videos. But really that's just for me to, to be inspired by everybody's beautiful um, get well cards. And praying for me and thinking of me kind of cards which I can't tell you sorry I'm sorry I wasn't thinking about but I can't tell you how 
how much those are meant. Because there are days when sometimes you're you're not or you lose moments where you're not feeling like you can do it. And you look at the cards and you're like, everybody believes in me. God believes in me and these people will believe in me and my my family and friends all believe in me. So I know I can do it. This morning was kind of one of them. The good news was is I had this happen to me before. So I was ex not expecting it, but I was experienced in it. Like how to treat it. So. Oh, I'm sorry. That was really caught up. I just really caught off guard right there. I just. It really has meant so much to me. That you guys care so much. I love you, and if you have not heard it today, or if you haven't heard it recently, I love you. Um, if you need to feel love, come by and hear it. Um, reach out to me on social media, and I will definitely tell you how much I love you there. Um, if you have not, there's links to all my social media in the description box down below, except Snapchat and TikTok which I'm on both of those social medias, but I don't really post to them often. I do respond to them as, you know, on a regular basis, but I don't post to them often. But um, it's all the same, Mrs. Garth B2. I'm on all the socials like that. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. I didn't really mean to break down on you. Um, if you... Um, Sorry, if you haven't heard today that you are loved, remember that I love you. And I know I said this, but you can always come by and hear that you are loved and how much I love you. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And if I could come across and give you a huge cyber hug, I would if such a thing existed, when such a thing exists. Um, and as always, you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you tomorrow. Nope, that's not my darling. We'll see you next time. Bye. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.